how to add RSS feed to your Squarespace website. Now, this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you everything that you need to know over the shoulder step-by-step -step, so that you can see how to add an RSS feed to your Squarespace website. Okay, so to do this, the first thing that you need to do is go to the first link in the description of this video, go ahead and open it up, and that is going to take you over to this website right here. Now this is Elfsight and Elfsight allows us to get access to tools and other widgets that we can't usually get access to on Squarespace alone. Now the cool thing about Elfsight is the fact that you can sign up for free. So all you need to do is enter your email in right here, click on start and then you can go through and sign up for your Elfsight account. Once that is done, once you have signed up to Elfsight, all you then need to do is click on widgets right here at the top. And as you can see, it brings us over to the widgets area where you can see all of the widgets that are available on Elfsight. However, we are specifically looking for RSS feed. So just type in RSS into the search bar and then you can see the RSS feed pops up. So we can click into that. And then it gives us all of these different options for how you can get this RSS feed to look. Um, I'm just going to go for this one right here. Once your template has been selected, click on continue. And then we can click into add source to actually add the RSS URL. And in here, all you need to do is get the RSS link, paste it in. And then as you can see, this is all going to, whoopsie, this is all going to pop up right here. Now, once you have the RSS link in, just click on add to website for free. And then it's going to save the widget right here. Now you can also change like the appearance, the color of how this looks and everything like that. Um, you can change like the settings, the post, basically you can customize this in any way you like. Now, once that is done and you have changed the colors and everything like that, all we then need to do is click on publish in this top right corner. And as you can see, it then asks you to select a plan. Now the plan that you go for depends on how many monthly website views you get. So choose one of these plans. However, if you just want to test Elfsight out and see how it works, you can also go for the free plan right here. Once your plan has been selected, it then will give you this piece of code. And from here, it is literally just, a, it literally is copy and paste. So all we need to do is copy the code, go back over to Squarespace, into the editor. And then of course we want to add a new section. So all we need to do is add a section wherever you want to add this on the site. Make sure that this is a blank section, super, super important. And as you can see, the new section has been added in. Once that is done, click on add block in the top left corner. And then from all of these options, you want to go for code. It's then going to load in this little square. So all we need to do is double tap on this. Then in here, we just delete hello world, paste in the code that we just copied, and then spread this right along. Now, as you can see, it says embed scripts, blah, 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 this like white box at the top. Don't worry, this is going to disappear as soon as we exit out of the editor. Um, probably not the smartest idea to have white text right there. So what we can do is just go in here. And if for whatever reason, like you can't read the text properly, you can go ahead and change this. So we could just go here, click on light, and then make sure this is published. But overall, that is how you can add RSS feed to your Squarespace website.